This is JD Malbo, and this is my brain zapper. <clears throat> Seven coping tips for chronic migraine sufferers. One, get aerobic exercise. One of the proven ways to help relieve stress, particularly proven to help people with migraines, is regular aerobic exercise. I usually recommend that. Le oh. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I usually recommend at least three times a week for at least 30 minutes or 40 minutes. There is a direct correlation between what more exercises and fewer headaches. Some patients say that they don't have time to exercise, exercise. but you also have to consider the time lost when you do suffer a mugray. Exercise is essential if you want to get better. Number two, try relaxing exercises. Everyone knows that stress is a major cause of headaches, and <laughs> and really relaxation relaxation therapy helps. Biofeedback is a type of computerized relaxation <laughs> training, and it works for many type many of patients. Progressive relaxation and also works and does yoga meditation. <laughs> All relaxation therapies are equally effective. Stick to a regular sleep schedule. Go to sleep at the same time each night. Wake up at the same time each night. Uh, same time each morning, even on the weekends. Both lack of sleep and too much sleep can cause headaches. Number four, take magnesium supplements. Magnesium deficiency can cause migraines, headaches for some people. Symptoms of magnesium deficiency include migraine headaches, cold hands and feet, premenstrual syndrome, and muscle cramps in your legs. To supplement with magnesium, start with 400 mi milligrams daily. Five, avoid food triggers. Which food triggers headaches varies from patient to patient. Some food triggers are quickly obvious. If you have glass in, if you have a glass of wine and your headache, and you get a headache, then wine is one of your food triggers. Other common food triggers are chocolate, MSG, monosodium glutamate, preservative-laden food, and sugar substitutes. Many headache sufferers also, may also have a gluten sensitivity and should try a gluten-free diet. Finally, sugar sensitive is a common problem with headache sufferers. <laughs> Number six, avoid caffeine. Patients who do not realize caffeine is the culprit because caffeine often helps them better, feel better. The, real, the, the reality is that caffeine withdrawal is one what is giving them their ha headaches. <laughs> they have caffeine and they feel better, but two hours later they need more caffeine. <laughs> Number seven. Consider supplements. <coughs> Finally, there's some supplements that can help people with chronic migraines, including COQ10, 300 milligrams, Butterbur, 150 milligrams, Feverfew, Riboflavin, vitamin B2, <laughs> vitamin B12, and fish oil. Keep in mind that Butterbur is a toxic plant, so never use it in anything except for your form. Speaking to your doctor first before adding supplements to your diet. <laughs> 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 <laughs>